praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Today we're going to go over Proverbs 30 and 5. And it says, Every word of God is pure and is a shield unto them that put their trust in Him. Add thou not unto His word lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. See that? Okay, so let every word of God be true. You know, let his word be pure, because the most I change not. He don't change, okay? But we do have a group of people who try to change the words of the Lord, to try to change his his ways, his image, uh, try to change his people, you know. So we have to know that God doesn't change, okay. So what that means is that we're being deceived by people on the earth, okay. So. This is why a lot of our um, children doesn't know the Lord, and a lot of a lot of parents doesn't even, doesn't know the Lord. Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. Okay, a lot of us did idol worship and calling on a fake God named Jesus. Okay, a God that our forefathers, foremothers, never uh, never served or they never knew. You know. So on this side, in the Western Hemisphere, Western Hemisphere. You know, we, 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 we was taught to worship a God called Jesus, okay, which is not the God of the 12 tribes of Israel, according to the scriptures, okay, so uh, this is why a lot of our children is being punished and put down because they're not in the truth of the Lord. Let's jump down to 11. It says, there is a generation that curses their father and do not bless their mother. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes and yet is not washed from their filthiness. And it's a lot of our children today. You know, our children is living uh, in a filthy way according to the scriptures in the, in the in the sight of the Most High because they're not in the truth. They're not being taught the truth. And, uh, you know, they don't, dis they disrespect their parents or any gr grown or adult person that tries to tell them the truth. Okay, it says, uh, it says they are pure in their own eyes. You know, you can't tell these kids nothing. You know, a lot of people just think they already know it, and they don't know it. Because if you knew, you wouldn't have people out here trying to give you the truth and tell you something to correct yourself. So correction is always a good thing, you know. Yep, uh, let's jump down. Let's finish reading. It'll we'll, we'll go to 12. It says, there is a generation that are pure in their own eyes, and yet is not washed from their filthiness. There is a generation, oh how lofty are their eyes, and their eyes lofty, I'm sorry, and their eyelids are lifted up. It's like, okay, so. You know, the Most High know all his people, and he know the hearts and minds of, of, of people. He says, there is a generation whose teeth are as swords, and their jaw teeth as knives, to devour the poor from off the earth, and the needy from among men. Okay, so there's a generation of wickedness, wicked people on the earth, okay? 
So in order for you to uh, escape uh, the judgment from the Lord, you need to be in the truth. Calling on your Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, repenting and turning back to your power, Yahweh. Let's go to Ecclesiastes right quick. It says, um, let's go to Ecclesiastes, uh, we'll go to Ecclesiastes, uh, chapter seven, and we'll start at 19, excuse me. It says, uh, wisdom strengthens the wise more than ten mighty men which are in the city. You see that? So, you know, you have a lot of people in the cities that's very powerful, right? You have doctors, lawyers, uh, uh, judges. You have, uh, you know, a lot of people that's in high places or in, in high positions. But the, to know the knowledge of the Lord, they, they 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 don't know it. They don't have it. So this is why wisdom strengthens the wise more than ten mighty men in the city. Okay. Your drug dealers, your your you know your pimps, whatever. All these people who seem as if they are doing good, they have no knowledge and wisdom of the scriptures. Okay. They have no knowledge and wisdom of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. So this is why strength, wisdom strengthens the wise more than ten mighty men in the city. Okay? It says, also, also take no, also take no heed unto all the words that are spoken lest thou hear thy servant curse thee for oftentimes also thy own heart knoweth that thou thyself likewise has cursed others all this have i proved by wisdom i said i will be wise but it was far from me that which is far off Exceeding deep, who can find it out? I applied my heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom and to have and the reason of things and to know the wickedness of folly, even of foolishness and madness. So how you search these things out and find these things is by reading the scriptures, reading the commandments. Of the most high you know this is how you find the uh wisdom the knowledge through the scriptures and word through the words through your through the elders and teachers you know uh especially a great millstone you know but but first of all yourself have to search and seek out this wisdom and knowledge you know you have to save your own soul you know, after you hear this truth, you have to go search it out. And the only way you're going to find it is in this, 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 these scriptures, this word. So I want to share that with you guys today. Uh, so the deep things are the things that are seeding deep. You have to ask the Most High through the Spirit to guide you there, you know, to give you that understanding. Of the scriptures so you know we live in you know, it's 2024 we're living in some we're gonna be living in some um some some troubled times okay you know a lot of this the so-called that mark is coming out you know they gonna try to put on everybody so you know you got rumors of wars you got war starting you know, it's a lot of things that we should be focusing on, you know, and trying to build our spirit up with your Howard Bashan and Howard Shah. So with that being said, I'll be back with the next one. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Peace.